Okay, so I'm in a Zoom meeting and you can see me here twice and that's because I've got my iPhone here and it's joining me as, a, as another user because I want to show you about co-hosts. And so I've got both of me here and on the right I am the host and I want to show you how you can make a co-host. And co-hosts can do things like help you with breakout rooms, they can record as well, they can record locally and that can be very, very useful. Um, they're also, you know, if something goes wrong and for whatever reason I lose the connection, they can take over and keep going. So it's useful to have. And a common question actually is, how many co-hosts can you have? And you can have as many as you like. So that can be really useful. So things that they can't do, and this is not necessarily everything, is they can't um, end the meeting for all, they can't start closed captioning, they can't start live streaming and they can't make another participant a co-host and they can't start the waiting room. But overall they can, they can help out with all sorts of things and it's really useful. So how do you make someone a co-host? It is just so easy. But first what you need to do is just check that your account is enabled for allowing co-hosts. And for that I'm going to go to zoom.us, I'm going to log in and here I am on my settings you can see I'm on my settings on the side here and I want to be in in basic meeting. So I'm going to click on that. I'm then going to scroll down not too far and then it's got co-host here and you can see it's switched on. I'm going to leave it switched on but if you didn't want to allow co-host you could just switch it off like that. Let's switch it back on. Okay so now I can do co-hosts. Let's go back to Zoom and here when I hover the mouse over this user here, I can now go here to the three dots, the ellipses here in the top right hand corner, click on it and you can see make co-host. Let's do that. It says make co-host and you'll see on the iPhone, it pops up telling me that you have been assigned as co-host of this meeting. So there you go, that's how you can do it. And there was also a little message that came up in the top right of the screen here as well. So there you are, if you want to make someone a co-host because you need them to help you out, then that's how easy it is to do. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you soon.